Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm out hitting the river. Um, I've already fished for about an hour. It's the first day of the river season. Um, I came out at 4am um, just so I could get to the bank before anybody else did. Majority of this river is completely choked up with weed. There's not many swims. So I know that as soon as people start hitting the bank, probably about 6am, um, there's going to be absolutely nowhere to fish. So today I'm out using a brand new setup, uh, specifically for my crankbaits. Um, and this is a 13 fishing fate black rod 13 fishing source k reel loaded with 18 pound suffix braid strong enough so i should hopefully be able to bend out my hooks if i was to get caught up in snags and then the bait that i'm using is the rapala countdown elite now I, some of you may have seen this if you watched my last trout fishing video but i actually use this um in conjunction with a little popper i was using and I managed to get some fantastic trout out on it. So I thought, what better than to use it for the chub when the river season started? Because I just know chub love crankbaits. I've got this in a couple of different styles. I've already fired one about 100 miles an hour into a tree at the start of the session. You'll see that footage in a minute. And without further ado, let's crack them with the fishing. We'll see if we can catch anything. If I didn't already mention it, this rod is a three to 15 gram casting weight. Hence why I'm using it for my crankbaits. Absolutely perfect, because majority of my crankbaits are probably between um, 3 and 10 grams for my light fishing for perch and, and chub um, and I'm hoping that I can get lots of perch and chub today I've already had a bit of action from both species without further ado I'm going to crack them with the footage I hope you guys enjoy it's going to be loads of GoPro footage wading down this river chucking in between the reeds and hopefully finding some of these monster river fish let's crack on That was sick. Watch me place it right there. Oh, look at that. That is a nice chub as well. Let's get him to one side. Oh, he's just unhooked himself. Look at that. Right, I've had an absolutely awesome fish on that Countdown Elite minnow pattern. He's feisty and trying not to drop him back into the water. <laughs> and here it is. Absolutely awesome chub. Easily three and a half plus, between three and a half and four probably. Though it's quite skinny. Amazing, I followed it right under my feet. I don't know if it's because it's first day of season and they're very confident, or if it's because um, it's very early in the morning. It's currently um, between four, half four and five a.m. But that is absolutely awesome. Let's get him back, Let's see if we can catch any more. It's working my way to where anywhere where there's trees, because I know there's not going to be any streamer weed there. And that's where these fish are going to be hiding. Oh, spooked a fish. Damn it. Oh. Ain't getting that back. There we go. Can down the leap there. I like this pattern. I don't know what I'd call this one. One of them just came at it like an absolute mad fish <laughs> and changed its mind. There we go, there we go, there's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, it's a perch with loads of other perch following it. Oh, 
Oh, I've got a hook in my hand. Thanks for that. There we go. Just getting one up, just probably about six ounce. There's a few other perch following it, so what I'm going to do is put him in my net, I think, which is down in the water by my side. Let's see if we can get any more. Oh, that's a chub, that's a nice chub. Nice, spooked it. Oh, a perch here, though. <laughs> oh, that's a chub, that's a chub. Got it, got it. Got it right in front of me. Oh, that was sick. He inhaled it as well. Oh, well, careful, buddy, careful, buddy. Hook's just caught on the net. But yeah, that's one of them from the shoal. Is uh, a couple bigger than that, so I'm going to see if I can catch him. I'll please drop him back and we'll take a look at the star of this uh, this little show. Another awesome chub. Absolutely nailed that countdown crankbait. Wicked. Absolutely destroyed it right in front of me. That's how I seem to be taking it, chasing it right into my feet and nailing it. Can't complain at that, can I? Let's get him back. And I'll watch this, are you ready? I think I'll be able to get a purge on this cast. The fact that it, oh, that was a bit of a rubbish cast. There we go, there we go. Just chasing them bait fish, smashing them all over. I've got loads of perch just chasing it in now. Oh, not mine. Awesome fish on that countdown. Drop him in the net, we'll see if we can get a few more. Like I said, the net is in the water down at my side. Oh, a pike. What? Uh, <laughs> I just had my bait dropped in the water. Whoa, careful, buddy. I can't believe that. I've just caught the perch. I've just dropped my bait into the water and a pike has nailed it in my feet. That is sick. And let's look at the way he took that. That is awesome. <laughs> I can't believe that. There we go. Let's hold him up for the camera. Little guy. Let's get him back. There we go, there we go. Nice job, nice job. Absolutely crushed it. I knew there had to be either a chub or perch down here somewhere, it looks perfect. He might do me off in the weed here. He's only lightly hooked and he's gone through loads of stream of weed. Can't really wade out there either because it'll go over my waders. It's probably about six foot deep in the middle there. Yeah, he's properly done himself. There we go. Be careful, he's only barely hooked. 
I might not try and net him. I might try and hang line him. Look at that fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, he's, he's got a second look in him now. All right. Oh, that's a nice job. Okay, get out of your system, buddy. Let's get him unhooked. Look at that. Crush that bait. That countdown. Let's get the pliers out. 52. 52 centimetre. I don't measure chub, so I don't know whether that's a, a, a big chub in terms of length, but it's 52 centimetres. Another really, really good chub. I didn't bother getting a weight on him, but uh, I've got a measurement of him, and he's 52 centimetres. I never normally measure my chub, so those of you guys that do, you can tell me whether that's a big or small chub. <laughs> but he's an absolute unit. Probably around four and a half, four to four and a half pound. Long, lean. Crankbait eating machine. Watched it follow it all the way in and nail it about halfway on the retrieve. Wicked fish. Let's get it back. There's a nice job. Tighten that drag up. Awesome fish. Oh, beast. Oh, yes. Rest him in the water before we show him to you guys. It's definitely a fish of over four pound, might even go five. I'm not sure. But the fish thrashed around and he, he really injured me. It, the hook point is right through to the bend. You see that? Oh. Down in the water, so it's better for the fish. I'll sort myself out. I don't want to be stressing him out too much having him in shallow water. So I'll try and get the fish completely covered while I sort my finger out. Right now, let me give you a lowdown of what I've just done. I had to get the sp split ring pliers out. Well, what I did was, at first was I cut all the points off the hooks apart from the one in my finger, as you can see, because that's properly buried, can't move it. And then what I did was use the split ring pliers to move the split ring around, move the law around on the split ring and pop the hook off. So that way I can carry on fishing. <laughs> I've probably got maybe an hour and a half, two hours left. I'll actually show this fish to you that's been in the net pole thing for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, crack on, put an hook on. Go to A&E. Now I've just had an absolute behemoth of a chub on that bait. Um, yeah, got a hook left in my finger, I'm gonna have to, I'll deal with that when I get home, I don't need to deal with it now, do I? Look at the length of that fish. If that were full of spawn, if we'd have caught it a different time of the year, it probably would have been a five pounder. I've just weighed it, and it is four pound nine, so just over four and a half pound. But look at the length of that fish, put up a right fight, and he got his own back on me, didn't he? Awesome, awesome fish. Let's get him back.
There we go, there we go. That's got to be a chub. Yes, not a bad one either. Chub are destroying this bait today. I might hand line him. No, both hooks. Oh well, I need to move. So. Well, that is the prettiest fish I've had today. I'm not getting the big camera set up on him. Oh, look at this. This is funny. The net magnet has got caught on the hook in my finger. Oh, I wonder what was hurting so bad. Oh no, <laughs> I was just about to show him to you guys. Damn it. Yeah, he, uh, he evaded me. That was a lovely fish. It wasn't the biggest one of the day, but he was probably a solid three pounder. Put up an amazing fight. And all the fish today have been caught on the same bait. This for a pile of countdown elite. Wicked. What a hit. Another chub. Took it right under my feet. Might hand line that one because I've had a bit of bad luck. I'm getting loose hooks in my fingers today, so. Oh, look at that bait. <sighs> Crushed it. Look at that. That one weren't coming off. There we go. That's a nice fish. Probably about two and three quarters. Off he goes. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a nice perch. Absolutely annihilated it. Well, it's a solid pounder. Look at the length of him. Really, really long, lean fish. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful fish. Really, really long. Awesome. I'm not really in a position to have the big camera up, but I would have taken a look at that one. He's a really nice fish. Let's get him back. There we go, there we go. That's another nice perch. It's probably bigger than the last one. They're all about the same size. Look at that. Oh yeah, proper chunk. Probably one and a half. Got to look at the land of that fish. And that countdown has almost vanished in there, look. <laughs> That's incredible. Oops, he had a quick release, didn't he? Oh, awesome. So guys, that brings us to the end of this session. Um, I'm filming this on another day because I had to rush home to go to A&E to get the hook removed from my finger. But it's all good now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out the products I've used today, as in the rod, reel, uh, and especially the bait, which was definitely the key today. I've only used that one bait, that Countdown Elite, um, and it's caught me, it must have been 10, 15 perch to probably a pound and a quarter, and it probably caught me six or seven chub to four pound nine, I think was the biggest one I weighed. So absolutely awesome little bait. 
So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later. Mm.